Hello friends, welcome to the principles of Geographic Information System QGIS Practicals. Today we are going to talk about making a map. So here we are going to create a map and its layout and we'll be also discussing about its attributes. We are going to create a thematic map. So I'm searching for a map from Google. Here I'm selecting one map from Google of Maharashtra. So these are basically image files of a JPG type. So select any one and save this image in your working folder. In QGIS, take a new project and click on layer and click on add layer. Here we are to add the raster layer. So here with this three dot, navigate it to the image that you have just downloaded from the Google. So select it and add this layer. Now let us add few more details in this map by adding new vector layers. So click on layer and click on create layer and click on shape file layer here first of all we'll be adding some locations so i'm thinking to display or add the fort layer here i'm going to show you the maharashtra's fort and i'm going to add the locations of different forts in this maharashtra map so i will be also naming it so i'm adding one more field here that is name click ok and you see one more layer is created now initially this layer need to be enabled for editing so click on the layer and click on this edit button so that you can add the point features in the layer here i'm going to add the locations of the forts in different district so i should know the list of forts so here i'm going on a google and searching for different names of the forts so particularly I'll be searching to which district those forts are and accordingly here I'm adding these fort locations one by one so this way add as many as locations that you would like to add to this map I'm adding few more locations over here so just click on any point and that will be your location so here I'm adding seven to eight different locations showing different forts in different districts. Actually, I'm searching the names of forts on internet and accordingly, I will be adding these forts to those locations in that particular district. So I'm almost done with adding the different locations for the forts. Once done, double click on the layer, you'll get this property window. Here we are going to change the symbols with SVG markers. So here are some SVG symbols that you can choose. Here I'm searching for a fort symbol and once you select the symbol you can change the size color and other formatting for the symbol so when done with the formatting just click on apply and you will see the effect of these properties so this is how the food symbol is applied here Similarly, we are going to add a few more layers of locations or like we can add roads, we can add polygons to show some areas. So here I'm creating a layer of type roads with geometry type as lines. Here I will also add some attributes like name of the road. Just click on add to the 
fields and this will add the attributes for your layer i'm also adding one more attribute of type length so this is how you can add just click ok and you'll get this new layer added now click editing on and add the features so in this layer you have to simply draw the lines once done right click after right clicking you are getting this dialog box where you can add id and the name length we can calculate later here i'm adding few more lines to show the roads so you can show the roads to these forts or this forts location you can add as many as roads you want to give the proper name and the id to these roads once done with drawing the roads we are also going to change the properties of this roads layer so that we can show these roads with proper symbols here are different symbols that you can use to show the roads i'm specifically using this rail route to show this road so just click apply and okay you can change the colors as per your requirement click apply and click okay and you'll see the effect of this you can also change the width of this roads or the lines here are all this formatting options given in symbology so here it is how your layer will look like let's add few more details by adding a polygon layer to this map so click on create layer and here i'm going to create a layer of polygon i'm giving the name as lake layer so i'm going to add the lakes to this map uh, just the polygon as geometry type and use some attributes by clicking ok you will see you got the polygon layer click on edit and you can simply add the polygon so here i can add this perfect polygon like i can add perfect circle or perfect rectangle so this is how it will ask you for the size you just click ok and give the id and the name of this polygon so here i'm adding the polygons after adding polygons i will be also using different formatting options for this layer select the layer and double click on it to get the property window in symbology here you can select the polygon fill style you can change the color you can change the pattern or you can also use svg markers for the same i'm using gradient fill option over here and will choose two different colors So now my polygons will appear in these two colors with gradient feel. Now I'm almost done with adding the details to this map. Now click on projects and click on new print layout. This is to create the new layout of this map. Here you can enter some user defined name for your layout click ok once done this is the layout that you will get click on add item and just click on add map and just drag your mouse to this canvas and you will see all those layers that you have created in that map will be here from these item properties you can actually format this map for several different things First of all, you can lock the layers. Now you can add the label this way and then you can display this label with different formatting options. So place the label like here, then write the label that you would like to display. 
so here I'm writing Maharashtra tourism so this is a user defined label then change the font you can change it for font style size etc you can also change its color Now you can also add a picture in this map just click on add item and add picture and just draw a picture box somewhere so here I'm adding the picture box to this picture you can actually set any image you can navigate to that picture or image with these three dots so select any picture file click open and this picture will get added here you can resize it you can align it at center or you can use other options related to this picture box so click on add item and click on add arrow so in this way you can add the arrow to the map Then click on add item, add legend and place the legend indicator at the appropriate location. This will automatically populate all the legends as we have already used them in our map. Now you can add the scale to this map. So just click on add item and add the scale. It's done with the map layout you can export it to the jpg file format so click on file export and select some folder where you can save this layout So this export has saved the file in jpg format you can see it here just double click on it and you'll be able to see this jpg file displayed. So this is how you can make a map. Here you can right click on the layer and see the attribute table that we have created as database. We can also put the labels on this roads by calculating the length of this roads here using this geometry calculator. So click here geometry type in that click on length and click OK. You will see QGIS will automatically populate the values of length in the database table so earlier the values were empty in this table now after clicking ok it will automatically calculate the length and will populate these rows after that using property windows into the labels you can actually set these labels the length that we have calculated for roads can be displayed by selecting this single label and selecting that length attribute here and you can also format this label for different color size etc 
once done click ok the labels will be displayed like this